This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals, and JSA Radio, the voice for tech and telecom on iHeartRadio. I'm really excited to uh, come to you live here on the balcony, the closing reception of Telecom Exchange LA with my friend, Mr. Amitabha Mukherjee. He is the president, CEO, and co-founder of Redshift Networks. Amitabha, a pleasure. Jamie, nice to meet you and nice to be here. It's a very wonderful show. We've had a really good time and uh, congratulations on launching it here. So it's uh, wonderful to be nice in the palm trees of Cal Southern California. Ah, so it's wonderful to have you. And um, first, we have to start with, tell us about Redshift Networks for our clients, for our viewers who may not already know. Sure, so Redshift Networks, we're focused on the VoIP security space. So we have a product that has VoIP security, analytics, and fraud into a single solution. And we work with a lot of the large carriers around the world. So we work with a lot of carriers here in the U.S., fixed line mobile cable operators and enterprise VoIP operators. And now we have some carriers that are reselling our product into the enterprise. And we also have carriers in, the North, in Europe, in Latin America, and also in Asia. So we've got an interesting global footprint now. And I got a, a, an opportunity to watch you at your finest during our last CEO roundtable on cybersecurity and IoT. Unbelievable panel. Definitely check out the full thing if you haven't yet. But Amitava, what were your takeaway points from that? So it was a very good event. I mean, it's interesting. You had a lot of folks from manufacturers and carriers also in there. So each one had their own point of view. So I think IoT is a really big problem set. Um, you know, as I was always pointing out that there's a 50 billion devices. And so as you get more and more devices out there, the threat vector goes up. So it's a, a problem that's going to evolve. It's going to get bigger. So I think there's a lot of debate going to be how to solve it and how to approach the problem set. So it's a great panel and a lot of really good uh, input and in, um, suggestions about how to uh, secure the problem set from people. So it was really good then. Thank you. And uh, Redshift certainly chips away at this problem. Can you can you tell us how you address IoT? Sure. So we're focused on the voice over IP area. So basically what we do is we look at um, threats that are hitting the voice network. So a lot of the carriers that are implementing a product, um, they're looking at how these attacks are coming in, the new generation of attacks, where they're stealing using fraud, where they're um, doing denial of service attacks, like the attack that happened on DIN a few weeks ago, but specifically to voice. Um, or they're stealing voicemail. So we look at 40,000 different attacks, and we do a lot of correlation and, and machine learning to figure out what's happening, and we do a lot of analytics to really look at these attack vectors. And so a lot of customers really like our product because it's very unique. Um, it's a product that's um, is evolved as based on a lot of carry input and feedback. So we actually develop something that's very unique for carriers. And when we go to these carriers, they're like, oh, wow, we've not seen a product like this. And it, it addresses a lot of their needs, which is around security and analytics into a single solution. Oh. Wonderful, wonderful. So, we heard a lot about uh, DIN, the attack. Um, are VoIP attacks happening today? Uh, yes, they are, unfortunately, So, which is one of the worst things that can happen, of course. And a lot of the problems is that a lot of the carriers, they don't really know the attacks are happening. So what we've seen is that they think that there's a problem set, but of course, until they see it. So what we do is we go into trials with these customers, and carriers, of course, love to do that. And we put our boxes or our appliances or our virtualized software into the network, and they actually see the empirical data that these attacks are happening. And so they're then, of course, they, it's a lot of, they get scared first. And the second thing, of course, we tell them, okay, this is how you mitigate those and then so we allow them to really go through a process of understanding the problem set and then solving it so it is something that they have to be aware of so that's what we teach them today no? uh, really that's showing great. them their risks right, and exactly. then this is where we can resolve exactly. this and that's the best way empirical data is always the best way to do it because you can talk in the in the cloud as they say about things but unless you actually see these things happening you really don't know how, how it's affecting your network no? wow, wow okay so my last question, and I like to end with this one when I have a CEO uh, on the hot spot here with me. Looking into your, your crystal globe, uh, what do you see for Redshift Networks in the coming year or two? So, um, you know, now we're, so it's interesting, we've been in the carrier space for about three years now, almost four years, and we're now targeting some larger operators. So the bigger guys like Verizon, AT&T, Frontier, Cincinnati Bell, so those are ones we're winning now. And we are now getting into the large mobile operators, so 4G, 5G, Volti. And so we see ourselves the next year, 12, 18 months, going to working with SoftBank, working with Verizon, working with AT&T, all the bigger operators. And of course, now this IoT is the new angle for voice implementation. So as those carriers roll out IoT with voice services, we'll be working there. So that's a very exciting time for us in the next 18, 12 to 18 months. And it's a lot of growth for us also. Amitabha, certainly. Um, a name and uh, Redshift Networks, the company, to watch. 
thank you for joining us not only on this beautiful uh, day here at TexLA, but uh, also uh, every day virtually chatting with you is, is wonderful. No, thank you. And it's a really pleasure here. And thanks so much for inviting us here also. No? Thanks, Jamie. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV.